Hello people, yes, I'm back and uh, you might notice a bit of a change with these videos from now on. Uh, that change being that the uh, you know, that Sony logo that appeared on my previous videos isn't going to appear on most of my other ones from now on. I say most because uh, well, there's a few, do a few videos I've recorded but not uploaded yet. In fact, this video is actually a request by 64Alt. Uh, you can find this YouTube channel in the description of this video. And this is Essential PlayStation CD number 8, with some kind of weird looking icons, I don't really get it. Yeah. And if we look at what games are on this, we have Actual Soccer 2, Toka Touring Car, just the one apparently, Crash Bandicoot 2, Die Hard Trilogy, which I'm pretty sure was on disc 3 as well. Don't really know why it's on here, but whatever. Formula Carts. Judge Dread, I played this so many times already. Ace Combat 2, Machine Hunter, Pandemonium 2, and Shadow Master. So yeah, actual soccer 2. Really don't look forward to playing this one to be honest. Uh, because it's an actual soccer game. Actually, actual games in general tend to suck from my experience, but whatever. But if nothing else, we do get to see this awesome intro again. Well, actually, no, I'll say again. I've, uh, yeah, kind of a spoiler there for future videos, shall we say. Yeah. Actual sports! <laughs> Live today! From Wembley! <laughs> okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Being serious though, why is this game on here? No, seriously, I, I genuinely want to know why is this game on here? Okay, like maybe in like 1996 when there wasn't really any good 3D football games and okay, true football fans, what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. It just seems kind of random, but at least they do tell us the controls, which is more than most of these demos bother with. Not like it matters because the, the controls are really flawed from my experience with these games. I mean, I haven't played the third one, like, at all. I haven't played the full game or the demo or anything. And I don't get this. Like, why Like why can't you play Scotland? It seems kind of weird. I mean, I'd pick England anyway, but still. Now, I remember last time I played this, I played on Amateur, so let's go with Semi Pro this time, for my, <laughs> with no regard for my own safety. So I know I'm going to just rage hard at this game. But, you know, I mean, it's more amusing that way, you know. I mean, do you actually want to see me play constantly, or do you want to see me rage? I know which one I prefer not to run into. Okay, how do you tackle on this? So I press X and it doesn't do anything, so do I have to press square? I guess, because, I mean, X doesn't. Ooh, okay, I actually managed to get the ball somehow. Okay, ooh! Come on, give me the goal! Oh. I actually got a shot, that's more than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I will say, this is actually more playable than the first one. I'm not sure if... Yeah, I did play the first one I did, but didn't I? Because that was on Essential PlayStation Disc 2. And they were on Disc 8. Ooh. Actually, I'm surprised, because I remember I played... I remember I did this disc on a stream, and I remember I raged hard at this game. And Okay, how do you lose the ball then? What the hell's going on right now? Okay, and of course... <laughs> Of course, it just selects plays at random. That's one of the really bugs in with these earlier football games. It's like, like being able to choose, or rather your ability to like choose which player to play, is like it's very limited. And okay, so apparently Square doesn't tackle either. What the hell's going on? Yeah, uh, and of course, tackle the ball. A good opportunity to make the pressure right. count here. Oh, so nothing in the books about this, like the passing, because unless the unless there's like a player in front of where your player's facing, um, they would just the player would just kick the ball forward. It's kind of annoying. So let's go for the go on the right or the left, rather. Uh, depends on what spec perspective you're looking at. Yeah, <laughs> skulls. Didn't really do much in, in the uh, international. Oh, wait, I actually got a corner from that. <laughs> Even though I was quite clearly the one that kicked it, but whatever, I'll, I'll take it. So do I have to pass to this guy because it's not letting me pass? Oh, okay. David Beckham. 
Oh, but... Mm. Nah, I messed that up. <laughs> Fluff the lands. I'm, mind you, I'm probably going to upload, upload this in the weekend. Because, you know, all the Edton and stuff. I'm probably going to upload this on the day England play, actually. And I get the feeling England will probably do as well here as they are... Well, as I normally would at this game. <laughs> Which say they're probably end up losing, like, 5-0. <laughs> uh, talk about it. Oh, okay, so apparently triangle tackles. I thought triangle was to, like, select player. The hell's going... Oh. Of course, as soon as I press the pass button, he steals the ball, because it's a twat. And the ball out yeah. The corner. And now I'm going to lose inevitably, because... Well, they got a corner. <laughs> it, whenever the AI gets a corner in one of these games, I always end up... Oh, okay, maybe not. Good thing Seaman knows what he's doing. Uh, I would say we could do with him, but... I mean, we got Joe Hart, so... That's what, <laughs> I mean, goalkeeper's like one of the few... Like, Dawkins is one of the few things we're actually good at, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, and, okay. Well, at least I managed to not concede a goal, that's something. <laughs> yeah, I didn't look like a complete idiot. Yeah. And, okay, I think that's it. Yes. Oh, well, that was actually a soccer two. It's not as bad as I remember. Um... I definitely remember it being a lot worse when I played it before. In fact, I kind of wish I saved um, the stream that I'd done this disc. Because I just kept raging at this game and I just like rage quit it. Uh, but I don't have the video. Um, so, yeah. I'm afraid you're probably not going to see that unless you were, unless you were there at the time. Uh, which I don't think most people were because I, <laughs> I get like... I don't know, maybe half a dozen people watching my streams, if that. And why is... Okay, that, okay so it ended. Uh, I was about to say, why does it keep going on? Okay, I don't want to buy this game. Because it's just a friggin' not very good football game. I mean, it's, like, it's not the worst, but I mean, still. Um, Toka Touring Car. Or Toka Touring Cars, or whatever. Uh, I don't actually have this game. I have got a Toka 2... And, I don't know, I think this, oh, yeah, we've got the Co-Masters Lugu, yeah, got all of that. And, of course, yeah, Co-Masters made this game. They also made Colin McRae Rally, and honestly, like, I'd have to say the controls in Colin McRae were a lot better than in Toka. Maybe it's just because I'm used to those controls, but still, it just, it's kind of weird. And we got Plan Down to Park, um... More, bra <laughs> more fan of Brant's Hatch personally, but whatever. Uh, apparently two laps. So let's see what we've got here. I'm probably going to mess up really badly, but sod it. I don't think the brain's going to help. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do this race. And okay, it's already veering to the left. This is, <laughs> is going to go well. Oh, yeah. Go get some contact on these cars right here. Of course I'm, <laughs> of course I'm last. And I'm playing this with a D-pad because I don't feel like switching on analog. On I mean, honestly, I don't even know if this game even supports analog. So, you know, if it doesn't, it'd be kind of pointless. Because I mean, the, I mean, this disc is some. Well, I mean, the games from it are from like late 1997, pretty much. I think. Uh, and it's like. You know, I'm not entirely sure when the disc was made, but I mean, I know the games are from like 1997. Um, I mean, I don't have the magazine that this came with. Okay. As long as I can use these other cars to break my fall, I should be fine. Okay, and that goes behind me. It's been that guy's going to like ram into me or something. Because I, it, I remember it's like easy to spin out in these games, which is why I'm trying not to. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Because it's like, if that happens, you, you're basically lost. <laughs> Not that I'm going to win at this point anyway, but still. Ooh. I remember this. Sorry, let's just skip over it. Even though you slow down to like, two miles an hour, but whatever. I don't get that. Why do you why do you have to slow down to like, two miles an hour on the dirt? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, obviously it's saying, oh, well, you can't, you're not supposed to drive there, but still. I'm not going to, ooh. Okay, maybe I won't spin out. 
So far, so mediocre. Uh, and then we've got another turn around here, I think. Yeah. Okay, and then we're in 14th somehow. Oh, you twat. Yeah. They, they are in these games complete twats. And Okay, so apparently I was pressing the right button to reverse, but it took like half an hour just to do it. I don't get like... Because I mean, I know it's like, you know, Toka, but you know. The AI is just complete twat in these games. It's like basically the only way to win these games is to crash to the opponent's constant like this. So I'm just going to try to see if I can ram this guy off the road for being a twat. I know I try to say twat a lot in these videos, but you know. I say it when the, <laughs> I say it when the situation calls for it, shall we say. Oh, and of course the cost spins out. I mean, why do the cost spin out so easily in these games? I don't get it. Why not just make it so that the car just, you know, doesn't spin out constantly? I don't really get it. It's just, you know, if the, ge if the game control better, I'd probably like it a lot more, I think. I guess having to play it with a D-pad is really... Well, actually, no, it's not so much that the game's controls, it's just the game's difficulty. Because it's like, unless... Okay, it's so like, unless you get a really good start, it's like, the AI will just completely, just crush you. And that's already the problem with it. It's like, you know, I mean, couldn't you, couldn't they at least let you select the difficulty on the demo or something? I mean, I know the, I know the Colin McRae demo is set to, like, the hard mode, but still. <laughs> I don't really know why they did that, but they, they did, for some reason. And yeah, I can't bother to do that turn properly, because meh. I mean, really, like, anyone cares. Actually, it was... Okay, so apparently circle is the horn. I was hoping that'd be, like, handbrake, but apparently not. I don't even know what button the handbrake is. It... Okay, it's not triangle, because that's the view. Oh, no, it's... I can't say it's bad, it's just... There are driving games I'd much rather play, and it of course, just randomly ends for no reason. I don't really get what that's about. And, yes, elevator, like, live commentary, even though there was none. <laughs> I don't really get that. Maybe they would, maybe they cut it from the demo just to like make it smaller or something. I don't know. But then we have Crash Bandicoot 2, which is a classic game. And if I remember correctly, yeah, I think I know what level this is. I, uh, you know, it's a snow level where you gotta go on the polar bear for some reason. I have no idea why they decided to pit that level. Um, it just seems kind of weird. I mean, assuming this is the same. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I know this. I, I'm not sure if I played this demo in another video. I think I have. But I remember... I remember this level's kind of a pain in the arse. Actually. Like, if you're trying to just beat the level, it's really easy. But if you're trying to get all the... If you're trying to hit all the boxes, it's a pain in the arse, it really is. Like, what's this? See, I mi of course I miss one. So, you know, so I'm just going to crash. Just to... I want to try see if I can get all the crates. If I die... If I miss, like, several times, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna not bother. So hopefully, well, let me go. Back. Yeah, and of course, yeah, of course, that time around I've missed the first one. Fine, I'll try it again. If I mess up again, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say sod it and just do the level. Because, <laughs> like I said, actually just beating the level is really easy. Beating the level and getting all the crates is fucking. Is is one of the. I can't say it's one of the hardest levels to get all the crates, but it really is a pain in the ass. And quite frankly, I can't be asked of it because, you know, it's like sod it. <laughs> Again, like, why did they pit this level? I mean, I can't remember. I mean, what was this level called? I mean, it's not. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the game just randomly killed me right there. Good job. I don't know. Maybe they fix that in the full game. I can't. I, I don't know. I mean, I've never run that glitch, so. I looked like I was trying to boost into that, and it just randomly tried to kill me for some reason. I don't really get that. But there we go. Guess that proves that these games aren't perfect, but they're pretty awesome. And, whoa, yeah, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> was even on the platform when I jumped. <laughs> but whatever. And this part's a pain in the ass as well, but... <laughs> of course I managed to get all those crates, but I couldn't get all the ones earlier. And, yeah... So we gotta hit this thing. Well, actually, well, actually it's kind of pointless because I didn't get all the crates, but still. 
But yeah, again, why do, I try to fit, I try to remember what the level's called. It's not Snow Girl. Uh, was it called Bear It? Or was that like a name I made up myself? <laughs> I can't remember. Because it's a pretty frustrating level, so. Yeah, Die Hard Trilogy. Again, why is this game on here? Like, they literally couldn't find like a tenth game to include that was some. Like, around at the time this disc was made. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why not just include, like, I don't know, Hercules or something? It would have made a lot more sense including this game. Because, like, this game, like, this game was released in, like, 1996. And this demo was from, like, 1998, I'm guessing. I think. I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but it actually would have been from around about then. So, like, I don't know, maybe early to mid 1998? I don't know. And I've played this demo several times already, so I kind of know what to expect with this. It's going to be Die Hard 2, and then there's going to be like some random bullshit time limit thing that is kind of pointless. And yes, there's Die Hard 2 right there. Die Harder. <laughs> and yeah, so I'll play the demo. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to start this up and then just exit. It's funny, the, the airport looks smaller from the outside than it does inside. I just realised that. Oh, okay, I just realised you can speed up the cursor with R1. That might be useful. In fact, it is. In fact, it will be useful, I think. Uh. Oh, we'll get. What the hell are these people doing in my way? Oh. Dangerous and possibly bad as well. Actually, speaking of which, actually, um. <laughs> I actually saw a copy of, uh. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker in the. in a pawn shop recently. Or, well, I'll say recently, today, actually. Um, and I mean the film, not the Mega Drive game. I have the Mega Drive game, so, you know, kind of pointless for me to get that. Yeah, eat that. As we, you stop shooting, you stop. Okay, I don't know what to do there. Okay, give me that health, give me that health. Uh, of course you won't let me get the health, because it's hiding beyond the drinks machine. How am I doing? And why is there no music in this? Okay, I know there's supposed to be music in this demo. Okay, like they did this with like demo 91 as well. It's bullshit. Nice try. No, I wonder. Of course, he turns as soon as I try to get the shield. That's just brilliant with that. Yeah, and of course, I can't get the bredder because <laughs> it's too far away. But I mean, there's not really what to say about this. I mean, this game is alright. I mean, this is. There's actually three games in Die Hard Trilogy, essentially. Because Die Hard 1 is kind of like the sort of third person shooter sort of thing. And then Die Hard. Uh, Die Hard 3. Or Die Hard with Vengeance or whatever. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that is actually like a driving game. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we kill that guy, kill that guy. <laughs> okay. And let's keep going until I inevitably run out of time. Uh, so what am I supposed to do now? Because it doesn't seem to... He's just walking around. Ah, walking away. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Oh, give me that, give me that. I want to. <laughs> I love showing this off, just because it's awesome. It's like the best weapon in the game right here. As soon as I can find some shoot, I can hit him. Okay, what the hell's even hitting me right now? I can't even see. Is there someone that I forgot to shoot that's like hit me or something. I can't just tell. Yep. Yeah. The fucking trees are in my well, the trees. What the hell am I talking? <laughs> fucking tables are in my way. In the hell, in the hell. 
Woo! There's a crazy text for ya. Yeah, can those rockets? Is it supposed to shoot this stuff or? Okay, I guess not. I'm just trying to just destroy random stuff to see if I can get uh, extra items or whatever, like some games do. In fact, there's actually one game on here that <laughs> that does that. Oh, give me that rocket! Oh, I carried an M16. <laughs> if I remember that, we're not gonna take it. Yes, we are not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. JP Ronnie Radio, brought to you by the refreshing taste of water. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, shoot that guy. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot you. Okay, <laughs> great aim right there. Okay, and all of a sudden I get two guns, even though you previously used another one. So I guess it like stacks of the weapons you get or something. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Can that reload? Oh yeah, give me that. Yeah. Okay, you're trying to fight with, <laughs> trying to fight with Bruce Willis. You're picking on the wrong guy. Okay, and okay, we did that. Apparently, we got as yes. <laughs> so might as well show this off. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. You have to aim properly. I forgot about that. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Good job, me. Yeah. Uh. Oh, give me that. Ha! Okay. Things are about to get a little bit explosive up in here. And I'm about to run out of time. <laughs> didn't even get as far as I did last time, it's pretty sad. And then... The blue vortex comes to kill me. Yeah, I remember that scene from Die Hard 2. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, let's go for a name right here. Let's, let's go with this guy. And let's go... Yeah, Trolk. Let's go with that. Because <laughs> why not? Trolk is better than Die Hard 2, Danny, Evelyn, Frank, Gertie, Hector, and Ivan. Because that's just the way it is. John McClane owns you all. But, uh, actually, what is the next game? I can't remember. It is Formula Carts. And I remember this game. It's actually... This is on 12 volume 2, in fact. And this game is... It's alright from what I remember. It's not, like, great or anything, but... Yeah. So, when we actually get to start this up, let's just start, press X, of course, and we get this strangely oval disc. Don't really get what that's about, but whatever. Oh, okay, we've got some music this time around. Around the world, around the... No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Go, what? How do we get this? Why was there no music on the on the other time I played this? It's weird. <laughs> oh, I don't really know what that's about. Um, but okay, let's load in some more. Yeah. <laughs> what is this music? I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I can't drive this when I'm sinking or oh, something. It's all better rapping than raid. I wasn't even rapping there, so. Okay, I already gotta get used to these controls. I'm kind of messing this up really badly. Place with that sound effect when you hit someone, just. Sounds kind of weird. Thank you. See, it's just... You crash into me, it's just... You use all like a bang sound or anything, it's just... That's it. I'm messing this first corner. 
Well, I'm doing a lot better than I did. Oh, I'm actually in first. Oh, Can I win this? 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 Yeah! Actually won! Awesome! Game of a year! <laughs> So I'm just grooving to this right now. Yeah, anyway, we're done with that. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, so I actually managed to win this time around, which is nice. And when it finishes, it chose this for some reason. And that'll forget ends. If we look. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't get why it shows that, like, scream whenever you finish the race, and then it just goes back to the menu. It seems kind of pointless to have, like, a whole loan screen to do that. But now we have Judge Dredd, which is another, uh, railgun shooter. Oh, yeah. Apparently these things were quite popular back in 1997. I mean, I guess people still play these kind of games today on, like, the Wii, or whatever. Even though most people have probably stopped caring about the Wii at this point, but whatever. But, <laughs> we get the same... Hilarious cutscene as always, and yeah, I don't have a light gun. Well, I mean, I do, but it doesn't work on my PC, so yeah, I'm calling some PC. We need more time. Come on. If I drop the candy wrapper, you believe it now? Remember, I got enough firepower to take out 50 blocks. <laughs> We're working on his identity, sir. Nothing yet. Red? This is familiar. Can't give it a name. Trying to remember. On your way there. Take out anything you can, Red. You'll have to rearm as you progress. One of the judges reports a possible android activity. And be careful. A number of justice personnel or citizens could still be in the building. Down, yeah. Call to acting brought to you by Rob Schneider. Yeah, anyway. Uh, let's get into the actual game, shall we? Yes, enter level 1-1. One, one. Let's say you know it's the first level. And... When it starts up... Yeah. This is just a railgun shooter, um, which you can probably guess from the intro thing. And this game... Okay, I'll shot that gun a few times. No, what the hell? Did I get a different gun or something? Or... Maybe I did. But... Actually, no, there is one big problem I have with this game. It's like, because it's like an FMV shooter, you can't hide behind cover or anything like that. So it's like, if there's an enemy about to shoot you, and you don't have enough time to shoot them back or whatever, uh, you quite simply just... They don't... Oh, I was trying to shoot the TV and it doesn't work. Yeah, of course I missed that guy. And I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Apparently I... I think it... What the hell? Okay, I think the game's just lagging right there. Is it just because I'm playing it on my PS2, or...? Probably. Yeah, there we go. Hey, give me that, give me that, give me that. 
Okay, how do you get the items in this? I have no idea. Does it, do you just grab them automatically and then they stay on the screen for no reason? I have no idea. I don't get the reloading things. You like you reload like instantly, so it seems kind of point. And what am I supposed to do here? I mean, like I said, the whole like not being able to hide behind cover thing. You can't really do anything there because you can't. You know, it's like they all shoot you immediately, and you can't like, you know, avoid them like you can in Time Crisis or avoid the shots or whatever. So it just, I don't know. It seems very flawed in the gameplay department, shall I say? Yeah, I'm gonna think this is kind of why FMV games died out. It's just because of how limited the gameplay is. Because, like, gameplay wise, you compare this to Time Crisis, like I said. Yeah, you know, that came out before this game, and that game is a lot better, I think. I mean, like, I've never played the PS1 version of that, but I have played it in the arcade, and it just plays a lot better, I think. And yes, I've actually been to an arcade at least once. And yeah, it's a. Uh, Apparently it's supposed to the G-Con or whatever it's called. Oh no, I the only gun I have on my PS1 is like a... I don't remember what it's called, but it kind of looks like like a pistol. So sort of like a... I'm not even sure what model it's based on, to be honest. I probably just made it up. <laughs> I don't know. Then we have Ace Combat 2, and I don't particularly want to play this one because it's a flight sim. And I'm not really a fan of Floyd Sims personally. I mean, I've played the Ace Combat Free demo a few times. I don't think I've played this though. Yeah, Ace Combat Two. Uh, City on Fire. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the controls work on this because I mean, Ace Combat Free used the, like, the analog sticks, but I mean, this game's like 1997, so yes, is before Apescape. Yeah. No, what's with this noise? Oh. <laughs> Flying like a drunk. Okay. Yeah, I bagged one, apparently. Uh, and I can't even... I think one problem that I have with this, it's kind of... I mean, look at the radar, it's kind of hard to tell how far away stuff is. Let's speed up a little bit here. So what the hell's... What the hell's even here? I have no idea. Um, because I don't see any planes. I mean, I can only see it's like a ground target. But it doesn't point out where the ground target is, so I can't really tell. It's, a, it's like you just have to take a wild guess. And that's really... It's just, it's kind of confusing. I mean, I, like I said, I'm not really a fan of these sort of games anyway. So, you know. So where are the... Oh, there's one. Yep, and of course I may just avoid my shots because it's a twat. Okay, am I supposed to stay with him all the time he just goes off course? Okay, so let's speed up a little bit here. So, of course, you know, the enemies get, if, if the enemies get behind you then... See, I can't even tell where this enemy is. It's like, where is he? Okay, well, I, can't, I still can't see him. <laughs> No, it isn't. And no, it's randomly took damage for some reason. <laughs> I don't even get this. What the hell's going on? No, of course, it's even bothered to. You have to be in like a certain distance where it lets me aim at them, I guess. Okay, there we go. And now there's a bugger right behind me. Trying to bugger me with missiles will sod you. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, no. Let me guess there's something on the road down here. We got blue this thing up. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I guess I got that, but. I mean, what, did I just blow up a missile? Let's throw that. I mean, look at the amount of enemies that are around here. Of course, they only give you so much time to actually destroy them all. Okay, and the enemies are in front of me. What the hell's the game doing? Okay, so I'm pointing there when the enemies that I'm supposed to be aiming at are in front. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, and you are 
doing? You always about to fuck the enemy. <laughs> so I'll say that. Uh, <laughs> look at this. It's like a, it's like one of those things at the fairground where you just ride on and just spins constantly or whatever. Okay, let me hit this guy. Yeah, and of course he flies away because he's a twat. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, it's just, it's kind of a, I think the problem with this is they just kind of boring to watch. I mean, just like, um, it's like Kurushi. Except I actually enjoy playing Kurushi, so that's probably not the best example. But at the same time, you know, it's it's not a game old LP just because it's kind of boring to watch, really. Um, but that's just, you know. So now we go hit this guy, go hit this guy, hit this guy. Yeah, of course, only one them hit. I mean, can't he at least tell you how many enemies are left? Apparently not, because I couldn't be asked to do that. It's like you just have to take a wild guess. Okay, there we go. And what the hell are all these targets, like, just appearing out of nowhere? What the hell's going on? Yeah, I'm the, <laughs> I'm the super flat man. No, sod it. Boys with all these like dots that just appeared out of nowhere, I don't get this. Do I seriously have to use the machine gun on these? Actually no, it's sorry, I'm just gonna crash the plane because I've had enough of this. There we go, it's the most fun part of the game right there. <laughs> no, I wanna let me quit out of this stupid Okay, there we go. Good thing I didn't have to reset. Actually, that's a good point. I haven't actually had to reset this at all yet. Hopefully, it stays that way for the rest of the video. So, now we have Machine Hunter, and I... No, I think I know what this is. I think this is kind of like... Like an overhead shooter sort of thing, but... Yeah. When it starts up, anyway. Because um, you got to love the PS1's load times. Even though I'm playing this on the PS2. Yeah, apparently, MGM made this. <laughs> Well, actually, no, apparently Eurocom made this. You know, the people that made Crash Bash also made this game. They also made that James Bond Jr. game on the NES, which, like, that game would be, like, it would be a good game. But the problem with it is, like, the enemies take, like, 57 billion shots to kill, which is really stupid, I think. But, okay, but, you know, I'm not talking about that game. I'm talking about this game. And, yeah, this is what I was thinking. Basically, you got to go and shoot stuff, but... It's, it's supposed to be kind of like loaded, I guess, but it's, I'm going to say this right now, loaded is way better. Even though I complained about it, like on the video that I did on, you know, Essential PlayStation Disc 2, I actually got the full game after that, and I'd say it's a lot better than I gave credit for when I played that. And it's just, I don't know, and this just kind of pales in comparison, you know. That's what I think, I mean... Obviously, you can make up your own minds on these games. You'd have to agree with everything I say. That's not the point of these videos. But the thing that the thing that's really annoying though is like the way you the way your character shoots. It's like because you can't shoot directly behind you. Um, it's like if you try to do that, it just doesn't work. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Cause I'm trying to see if there's like a no. There's no strafe mode. Because in yeah, because in Loaded, there was like a strafe mode, um, which this doesn't have. And the strafe mode made it, like, you know, you could go one way and shoot a completely different direction. And that worked, but, so it's like, why didn't they put that in this game? Okay, it would have made the game a lot more playable, I think, if they did that. Because, it's like, your character, like, the way he moves is just awkward. It's just, you know, it's like... Hidward scrub, it's like it's like there's a certain amount of inertia to like moving around and all that. 
But you notice the way I've got to shoot him, it's kind of awkward the way it works. But, I mean, like I said, this is, it, to me, it just, yeah, I mean, it, really the best way to describe it is, like I said, it's like a poor man's loaded. I'll tell you what, loaded is actually a really good game once you figure out. Like, once you've, like, probably figured out everything about it and all that, you know, how to play it, where to go and all that. Who to play as, because Momo is certainly not carried to play as, I can guarantee you that much. <laughs> it's a fucking slow piece of shit. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just pretend Loaded doesn't actually exist. And let's just talk about this game. Oh, do, you, do you seriously take four damage in this? That's fucking lame. And why is my guy wearing purple? <laughs> you know, it's just like a gory, you know, it's just like gory, you know, shooter sort of game. I don't get it. I mean, I know when... I don't want the characters in, uh... Loaded, you know, butch. Like he was dressed up like a woman. But that was like the comedic effect, you know. This, it's not really funny or anything. It's just what it is. Now, where am I supposed to go right now? Actually, you know what? I gotta say, the graphics in this remind me a lot of GTA. <laughs> they, just, they really do. And speaking of GTA, why isn't this on here? Like, why do they include games like, like Judge Dredd or whatever over that? And this. Yeah, it's like, why include these games and not include that? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Were they afraid that we can get, like, sued or something? And include a game that violent? I don't know. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, apparently get assaulted by this twat. I mean, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, I can't dodge this stuff. Yeah, I know. And I dodged. I mean, look at this. It takes like, of course, it takes like a billion shots. The one whose shots can't avoid take like a billion to kill. So let's go through here. Yeah. Okay, so like, notice how this one, notice how when you're playing this thing, you can actually shoot down. But of course, if you actually decide to play just normally, you can't shoot backwards. I mean, why is that? Like, literally, the guy just can't like walk backwards and shoot. Kind of stupid shit is that? I don't get it. Okay, but we beat that. Hopefully that health bar is not. Hopefully my uh, my guy doesn't share the health bar with this thing, because that'd be real lame if it did. Let's go from here. Okay, level two apparently. Uh, even though it didn't say I beat level one or anything, so I don't know. <laughs> and of course, it takes forever to destroy stuff in this. I mean, granted, like, enemies in the loaded tend to take quite a few shots sometimes, but, well, you know, certain ones do. Then we go to defeat this thing. I love how they expect you to avoid this stuff. Uh, and of course, it just keeps getting all up in my face, so I can't even, like, dodge this shit. Yeah, great game design right here. I mean, there's not even, there's not even like, a, like, a button to run or anything like there's in loaded. It's so, like, in that game, you can hold down square and run. Like, you can't even do that in this game. That would make it a lot more playable, I think. Because at least that way you'd probably be able to dodge these stupid projectiles. So, yeah, great. <laughs> Maybe they're like, ooh, let's just make so you can't actually avoid any of these shots. <laughs> yeah, great design right there. What the hell is this thing? Like a, looks like a scorpion or something. A giant robotic scorpion of doom. Yep. Oh, wait, no, I destroyed it. Nice. Now, of course, I had to put another one in there. <laughs> I don't think any... Well, I don't think many people really bothered. The, I love that. They expect, of course, it repeatedly does it, so I can't even... So I get hit multiple times, because it knows I can't avoid it. Again, great design right there. And look how slow this guy shoots. He shoots, like, one bullet every two millennia. <laughs> But, uh, of course, can't even shoot that guy because he's hiding behind a pillar. Even though it clearly looks like I should be able to shoot him, but apparently not. Because the game's not letting me shoot him. But, whatever, let's just. Yeah. So, sometime. Yeah, sometime in the next. Uh, probably decade. 
yeah, should eventually beat this. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? I'm trying to get raped by missiles. But, uh, okay, so apparently I beat it. Okay, and yeah, I don't care. Uh, of course, I want to like, skip it. <laughs> there we go. And okay, that's it. Wait, summer 1997? <laughs> Okay. Even though I think most of the games on here came out after that, like uh, you know Toku and you know Actual Soccer Two and all that, and Crash Bandicoot Two, which is like <laughs> so far it's like like the best game by a clear mile, has to be said. This game, on the other hand, uh, no, this one kind of sucked because <laughs> it's basically you know it's a poor man's version of like. Well, it was a much better game on PS1. I mean, I guess if it's Paul Man's version of something, then the other thing would be much better, I guess. But Why is there so many of these stupid friggin' screens? Just let me... Of course, you can't even skip this bullshit. I mean, I don't get this. Like, why... Of course, it's still going. I mean, I've almost been watching this shit for like a minute. <laughs> it's like, why not just, just end? Okay, okay well, why did it show that? Oh, pfft. okay, now turn this the credits. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna bother. I just go back to the menu. Cause I don't feel like playing that any longer. And now we have Pandemonium 2. And actually, you know, out of all the games I've got on my PS1, this is one of the few that I've been wanting to get but just don't have yet. And it's funny because I don't think this game is really that hard to actually find a copy of, but I, for some reason, I just haven't got around to it. Weird. But, uh, new game, please. And I guarantee it doesn't let me play. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, I selected Vargas, because, yeah. I don't think it'll let me. Because if I remember correctly, you can't actually play Nikki for some reason. I don't really know what that's about. Because, I mean, I'll say it before, Nikki is, like, the better character by far. Because the double jump basically. I'm going to say right now, the double jump alone basically like, raises whatever advantages this guy has. I'm just going to okay, it's as simple as that. And I don't care what anyone has to say about, you know, the rebuttal. <laughs> so I know he's got, I can't remember what to do, is it? Okay, see, I mean, I can't even get up there. Of course, there's twat, so it's a freaking, yeah. Sod you for having a stupid shield thing. Okay, I don't know how that can is hit, but whatever. Yep, and of course I walk into it like an idiot. Let's try to beat this. Let's try to beat this. So, I mean, I beat this before, no problem, so. I played this on, uh, Lim Volume 2. Um, I don't get that. Why does that snowball just, like, disappear? Kind of weird. Yeah. And... Okay, so we've got this guy. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I love that I clip right through it as well. Like, I, I clearly stalled there for a second. Which I would think, like, would let me get on there, but apparently not. Because it didn't. It's kind of... Oh, no, I find the camera here is kind of awkward. Because it's kind of hard to see where you're going. The way the, cam the, way the camera turns... Oh no, it feels kind of weird to me. I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, this is different to most PS1 platforms because this is like 2D. I mean, actually, no, there is a fair few like 2D platforms on PS1. I mean, obviously, there's Tombe, you know, there's Klonoa, your know, Rayman, the first one, um, Spider, which is actually, I would say, a really underrated game. Uh, if you like 2D platforms, you should definitely play that one, I think. Try what else? Um, oh yeah, Heart of Darkness and uh, Gex again, but again, I only like the first one. The sequels, obviously, those are 3D. But I mean, the Gex game is pretty awesome, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember I used to have Enter the Gecko as a kid, actually, and it was a really good game. Um, I'd have to go if you got Deep Cover Gecko though, and I did. I certainly didn't have the first game, so that was like a really early PS1 game. That was from like 1996, I think. I have got the first game now, um, but obviously I didn't own it back in the day. I think because I didn't really get many games from like bef 
yeah, all, like pretty much all the games I got from were from like 1997 onwards, basically, because that's when I got my PlayStation. I mean, I got a few like platinum games, like I got uh, Mickey's World Adventure, which is another 2D platform actually. Come to think of it, um, and speaking of which, Earthworm Jim 2, because there actually was a version of Earthworm Jim 2 for PS1, which is pretty awesome. It's got some, it's got a really awesome soundtrack as well. Uh, way better than the other versions, I think. I mean, the, the, the soundtrack sounds really good on, like, the Mega Drive and Super Nintendo, but still. And why is that pill up there? I have no idea. I'm going to go try to collect it, because I'm not going to fall into the pit for D. Okay, I don't know how I managed to get through that with a hit, but whatever. Oh. I should to say, like, uh... Pff, yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, let me up here. So I, want, I want that health. Gotta get the health. The <laughs> I got the rock and raw, the future fluff. I think this stuff can hurt you while you're invincible. Because, yeah, that's kind of the whole point of being invincible. You can also throw fireballs, but. You know, it's like unless you have to, like, break through a wall or something, there's no, really, there's no real point. I think. I mean, like I said, I mean, I still haven't been able to play the full version of this, which is a shame. But when you do, oh, that's right. No, I think you can only fire. I don't know. Maybe you can only throw fireballs at certain times or something. I'm not really sure. But now we got to this bit, which is like the slide or whatever. When we get down here, this is like my favorite part of the level. <laughs> Loud and away. I'm gonna be slowed and away for Christmas or something. I don't know. It's not even Christmas. I mean, it's freaking June, but whatever. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how that can is a hit, but I'll take it. Oh, let's try to do this again. No, nope, apparently. Okay, so it didn't count that as a hit, even though it counted that other like non-hit as a hit. Maybe the game was like trying to like balance things out or something. Like it realized it messed up and decided, oh, no one's gonna fail you for this one. <laughs> I don't know. But we're done with this level. And we're done with the demo, because there's only one level. And yeah, 30%, I don't really care. And we are done with uh, Pandemonium 2. I mean, I've got Pandemonium 1. In fact, I used to play that game a lot as a kid, because it was a really good game. Still is a really good game. But then we have Shadow Master. In fact, actually, I remember I played this recently on one of the other demos that I haven't actually uploaded the video of yet. But... When we actually... Yeah, here we go. Start. And... I think this demo is a time limit. I'm not entirely sure, though. Because I haven't actually looked through the video yet. And I remember the... The demo like randomly ended, and I'm not sure if I just ran out of time or if I died. I have no idea. I'm assuming if you die once, the demo ends, but still. Okay, no. I must stay away. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> just get Kurt Cobain up in this game. I'd say, like, from playing this recently, I gotta say the controls on this are a bit. Oh no, they're kind of iffy, I think. I mean, they're not bad, but they just feel... They feel weird. Maybe it's just because it's in a first-person view. And, personally, I have to say, this game, it really feels as though it would be better suited to a third-person view. I don't know why I say that. It just it just feels like it, it just does. Because there are certain games I may be playing first-person, like Doom and you know, Wolfenstein 3D. And then there's games that are just made to be, that are just made to be played in third-person. Um, I mean, like, Siphon Filter or whatever. And this just, it feels kind of off, I guess you could say. Not bad, though. It, you know, this might be a really good game. Uh, fuck, again, good at it. Okay, give me that thing, give me that thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that, ooh. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Maybe it gives you, like, extra health, or maybe it gives you, like, extra ammo or something. I mean... I think one problem I have with this, it's not really clear what the pelps do, and it's like when you collect a pelp, the game doesn't tell you that you collected it, or 
what it does or anything, so it's like, you just have to take wild guess. Um, you know, I feel like they kind of slipped up there. But let's see if I can get somewhere in this. Uh, of course, it, of course, out of nowhere, it just spawns a bunch of enemies. Like, where are these enemies even coming from? I don't get it. It's like, there was none, like, ten seconds ago, and then all of a sudden, nope, we're just going to spawn some more enemies. So, go use a special weapon thing. I think that one you get, like, an infinite amount. I remember if you press triangle, it kind of, like, change your weapon, I think. You see, they've got, like, special weapons, too. Let me click this, and let, let's, let's go here. Speaking of let's go, uh, World Cup game against Italy in a couple of days. Well, actually, I'll say a couple of days. It's probably going to be, like, the day I upload this, actually. And by the time that this has been loaded, you already know that Italy's won. <laughs> yeah, I don't fancy England's chances, but, uh, we shall see. We will see. Okay, unless they, like, decide to abandon the World Cup for some reason. The favelas get their way. Okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, and of course, a bunch of things just parachuting from over nowhere. And actually, I think the problem they have with the controls actually is like the inertia. Because you just kind of like slide around until you eventually stop. It just. It's kind of weird. And I want to try go the route that I went when I played this before. And then, like, ended. Because I want to see if there's anything special down there. And I'm just skipping past that because I don't care. I don't think it really matters anyway. Uh, okay, and I do... I do want to go in here. Okay, that thing is down. Speaking of spiders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me, let me switch weapons right now. Because I think you need to switch, like, different weapons to do... To like defeat some of these enemies. Yeah, take that. So being that take that, the music fucking sucked. <laughs> no, wait, no. Uh, what the hell's that song they did? You know, whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. Okay, that's an apology, motherfuckers. Okay, you should say, okay, you should say, okay, I'm gonna get down on my fucking hands and knees and fucking. I fucking suck you off. Okay, I don't know. I'll lick you, lick you down. I don't know. Whatever it is, the cool kid isn't using these days. I don't know. I was like, cool kiddies. Uh, most kids are twats from my experience, but what, what are you gonna do? And I probably just lost most of my subscriber base right there, but you know, there's some smart kids out there. But it's, I mean, seriously, most of them are just twats. And what the hell just escaped into my room? Fucking flyers. Yeah, flies are twats as well for the record. Like if there was one if there was like one like species I could have exterminated, it would probably be wasps followed by flyers, because they're just the most annoying motherfuckers there are. And they're just twats. So now I'm in here. No, get away. You spiders are allowed to get in your personal space, don't they? I mean, okay, I was stuck in the wall there for a second. I don't know what that was about. But what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. I gotta say, the level design reminds me of, like, Exhumed, which is... A, that's another game I've already been wanting to get, but just never got around to. But, let's see what is around here. Yeah, and apparently I'm out of... No, let me switch weapons. And, pfft, okay, what the hell happened there? I don't know what happened there, but it just decided to end randomly, so let's just quit. And, yes, we are done with uh, Essential PlayStation CD number 8, and it's... Oh no, overall it's... Not really sure what to make of it, really. It's kind of average, I guess. I mean, it's not great, but it could have been a lot worse, shall we say. Um, Actual Soccer 2, not as bad as I remember, but still not great by any means. Toka Touring Car, uh, not bad, but there's much better driving games out there. Crash Bandicoot 2, which is awesome. Dial Trilogy is really good. Formula Cards is alright. Judge Dredd is kind of bad. Ace Combat 2, I don't really care for it, but some people probably like it. 
Machine Hunter kind of sucked. Pandemonium 2 is good. And Shadow Master seems to be alright, but yeah. Anyway, I will see you later, people. See you.